こんにちは、アッツです、えー、今回もですね、またアンジュリーと一緒に動画をちょっと撮っていこうと思うんですけれども、えー、今回ちょっとやっていこうと思うのは英検一級の単語をですね、えー、アンジュリーにちょっと見てもらってこう感覚的にどれぐらい普段の生活で使うのかっていうのをですねちょっとこう意見を言ってもらえればなっていうふうに思っています今回使うのがですねこの英検1級のパスタンっていう単語帳ですまあこれ自体はですね私が使ったんじゃなくてちょっと今友人から借りてるんですけれどもこの単語帳をアンジュリーに見てもらってアンジュリーが一体どういうふうに思うかっていうのをですね見ていこうと思います OK アンジュリー So this is a vocabulary book for Aiken Great One Test which is one of the hardest English examinations in Japan And I'd like you to check, maybe quickly skim through and see、sure. what you think about this vocabulary. So, at first glance,、um, a lot、mm. of the words actually look quite、uh, complicated.、Mm-hmm. And some, some of them even look a bit obscure.、Um, obscure. So, so this, this is supposed to be representative. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. <laughs> So, at first glance, some of these words、um, they, they look a bit obscure, and、um, I guess the application looks a bit narrow、um, because th- this is supposed to represent、no. um, words that are commonly used in the exams, right? Yeah. Yeah, so、uh, that's pretty interesting. So, something like、um, auspice. See, I, I wouldn't have thought it'd be quite、um, like、a, very, a very common word that crops up in exams.、Um, mm. Similarly, ebullience. Which one? Which one is it? Ebullience. <laughs> oh, have you ever heard that? I have. Okay,、um, that's good. Where?、Yeah. Remember? In, in books. Quite, quite rare, so I'm, I'm a bit surprised that it makes an appearance in this book.、Uh, mm. Reproachment. Reproachment. Is that how you say it? Rap, rapproach, rapprochement. Rapprochement. Yeah, see, I have never used that word in my life. I'm holding it down. I can see it. I can see it. I'm holding it down. It's very difficult. It's like a long. Oh, I'm holding it like this. Yeah, hold it like this. Yeah, but it's just, yeah. Why did you do this? Yeah, it's just, yeah. Why did you do this? Yeah. Should have concentrated in class. So, are these words supposed to be. The infinitive of the word, or is it just as they appear in the exam? I think as they appear in the exams. Okay. K- KG, for instance, that's, that's an interesting one. KG? KG. Which one is it? So the infinitive you say is cage, but then, yeah, it's、um, the adverb, KG. And you. And you. I can still see it. You can still see it. And you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, and so where, where, does it, where does it disappear? I'll <laughs> hold、oh, no, it here. Okay. Chronic or habitual. Let's look at the example sentence. Few believed his story because he was known to be an inveterate liar. What kind of impression you would have when you hear someone saying this sentence in the real life? It's a bit over the top.、Mm. Like, I don't think anyone actually speaks like that. Over the top. That's a good expression because、yes. it's in distinction one.、Yeah. And it's, it's not only that, it's. I, I don't think. Many of these would even appear really that often in writing. So, as、mm. I'm speaking, it's like I don't think people would even use it that frequently、uh, in exams. These are all fine. Yeah, I think those are. Ben- benediction. Benediction.、Mm. Benefactor. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Because it's the opposite side of beneficiary, right? That's interesting. So, for example, you've got strive、mm. in、um, least frequent. Strive. Yeah. yeah, but we often hear that word. Yeah,、right? and swerve, which I would argue is more common than、mm. intermittently. Intermittently. But perhaps it's to do with,、um, yeah, because it's from exams, is it to do with how frequently it crops up in the exams、mm. rather、mm. than actual. So I think what they did was they collected all the data over the past <coughs> maybe 10 years or 15 years and then they just screened it. And、yeah. they put them in the order of how many times they appeared on the exam. Yeah, maybe that's it. So, because exams are you know, a bit more formal and a bit more academic in their、yeah. style,、uh, yeah. some of these words might、um, occur more frequently than you would expect.、Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, vice versa. So, some words that you, you hear more commonly in 
everyday speech and, yeah. and everyday writing. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily feature that often. Yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Superfluous. Superfluous. So That's a good one. It's a, it's a great one, except it's in the uh, most commonly used. Um, which, yeah, again, yeah, surprising. Some of these are pretty surprising. Mm. Tantamount. Tantamount. Yeah. Equivalent. His, yes, equivalent. Mm. His silence was tantamount when they were shooting kids. Mm. You like that? I like it a lot. Be Commens- sarcastic? Commensurate. Oh, no, I, I, just like, I just like words. Commensurate. I, I could read this all day. Any surprise? Like any words that you don't know? There, there are, there are a few. Um, more, yeah, you know, I've heard them before, but I, yeah, you know, I, I haven't looked into what they mean just because I, I never use them. Seismology. Seismology. Yeah. The, the study of earthquakes. Yeah, the mm. size of earthquakes. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, I think I think the most interesting is um, yeah, section A where it's. Uh, Purportedly, the most frequently used words. Purportedly. Purportedly. Mm. That's a that's a good word too. I wonder if it's in this book. No. I'm be surprised. I hope so. How good's this one? Commutation. What does that mean? Commute. Commuting. Well, apparently. Can't see it. The judge ordered the commutation of the man's death sentence to life in prison. Ah, that's what it means. Does it mean accelerate? Genke, genke. So it makes the uh, punishment less severe. Oh. Uh, the act of making the punishment less oh, severe. Oh, so he's reduced the man's death sentence to a life sentence. Mm. Never heard of that word in my life. Mm. If you're learning purely for the exam, then I think, you know, um, learning from a book like this mm-hmm. is probably a good move because mm-hmm. I, I think it's. It's probably quite scientific, right? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know the full backstory behind it, but it sounds like there's been a fair bit of analytics and yep. uh, study behind finding yep. the words that crop up the most often in exams. Mm-hmm. So if your mm-hmm. if your aim for learning English is purely to focus on studying for the exam, then I would say yeah, definitely yeah, learn as much as you can from these books. Mm-hmm. Um, English learners should have a balance. If they spend like a hundred percent of their time on this, then they will maybe start speaking really unnaturally, but, yep. um, you know. And I think learning from a book like this, there's, there's, it's not bad. Mm. You know, you, it's, it's not going to make your English worse. Yeah. Um, it's just a bit unnatural sounding. Yeah, the, the more the better, right? Yeah. Because like when you come across those words yeah. in reading the book or yeah. whatever. It's, de- it's definitely a good thing to learn. Um, mm. It's just, yeah, like, like you say, I think having a balance is, yeah. Yeah, I think the important thing. Mm. Understanding the priority yeah. mm, in studies. It's always an important thing. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you for reviewing the book. It was quite interesting. Yeah, it was interesting for me as well. So uh, that is all for today. Uh, before we wrap up today's video, uh, I would like to introduce uh, distinction one and uh, this one, distinction two actually. And what you're holding right now is distinction one. One. Okay, so we collaborated together uh, with other native speakers included and we created these amazing vocabulary books. So how are these books different from the Aiken Grade 1 book that we have just reviewed? So I think the, the primary difference in these books is that it focuses more on um, colloquialisms that don't necessarily pop up um, on an exam or um, mm. a more scripted type of setting. Mm. So it's really uh, from a native speaker's perspective, you know, it's words and phrases that we use. Um, and I think well, one of the best things about it is because we involved uh, native speakers from all parts of the world, mm-hmm. um, because English is such a global language, there's differences in how people use words and phrases. Um, the ones that we've put in this book really bring together uh, words and phrases that are used by people all around the world, so not specific to any one country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's that's a really positive thing about right. know, the words and phrases that we have in here. Very good. So if you haven't bought these books, these books are still available on our website, Tego.show. So please check our website. And also check our Instagram as well, because we have a lot of interesting paraphrase videos too. And also check at Tuego.com where you can read more than a hundred articles for free. More than a hundred articles. More than a hundred articles. More than a hundred articles. Yeah. Wow. Mm. It's so many. Yeah, so many, too many. Yeah, too many for free. 
for free. Alright, so thank you very much for watching today's video. I see you in the next video. Bye.